Stay where you are, just stay where you are. I'm not interrupting the praise section, but I like you to understand the perspective of what the Lord is doing in the of what the Lord wants to do in this second service. Still on the account of the madman of the gatherings, Mark chapter 5, 1 to 20, 1 to end. We saw what happened. When he saw Jesus, he ran towards him and worshipped him. And immediately after that praise and worship section, several things happened. In the first service, we saw that everything inside of him that was attractive to the devil left him. 6,000 demons were taken out immediately. Not only that, loneliness became a thing of the past. Now hear me very well. In this second service, as you praise the Lord, a man living in the tomb is as good as a dead man. Because all, I mean, he hears is the sound of the people that are already dead. There was no companion. Nobody could even bind him. Nobody could chain him. He was alone amongst the dead. But after that encounter, after the praise and worship section he had with Jesus, from the dead, the man came back to life. May I pray for someone here? The kind of deadness that the Lord is ministering to me this morning may not necessarily be in terms of your health. But hear me. Some of you, you are moving, you are just living, but like a corpse that is moving, a moving corpse. Everything you touch, nothing works. Business is dead. Home, nothing is working. But in this meeting, someone is experiencing a turnaround. First half of the year for you was as good as dead. But hear me, the second half that is starting tomorrow will mark your turning points. I say it will mark your turning point. The louder your amen, receive it in the name of Jesus. So praise him with understanding. Father, as I'm praising you now, everything about my life that is dead, let them come back to life. The word of God came during the first service for someone who has been jobless. He said in July, you will have two jobs to choose from. That is coming back to life. Someone will come back to life after now in the name of Jesus. One other thing that happened to this man was that suddenly someone that was insane regained sanity. A madman became normal. Insanity is not only when you are mad. When you don't have clarity in the things you do. Clarity of mind your vision is not clear to you. Your dreams, they, I mean, you don't even know where you are headed. That is some level of insanity. But after the praise service of this morning, someone is going to have a clear direction of where he's going. <laughs> Nothing will be blood to you anymore. Everything will come to you clear in the name of Jesus. Some of you have been trusting the Lord for life partners. But you don't know the direction to go. The Lord will give you direction after the service. So you need to understand. As you are praising him, praise him with understanding. And then one more thing that happened to him. Suddenly, his glorious days appeared. A madman living in the tomb suddenly came out of all of this. If you read verse 19 and 20, he said, Jesus said to him, Go. Jesus suffered him not, but said unto him, Go home to thy friends, and tell them how great things the Lord had done for thee. And I had compassion on thee. Verse 20, he said, And he departed and began to publish in Decapolis how great things Jesus had done for him, and all men did marvel. Men will marvel at your rising. I say men will marvel at your rising. At least 20 persons in the house this morning, 
your glorious days are coming back. Lift up your hands and say, Father, as I praise you this morning, everything in my life that appears dead, let them come back to life. Go ahead and pray that prayer. Lift up your voice and pray. Everything in my life that is not working, Father, let them jack back to life. After this day, we are not praying. everlasting father in Jesus mighty name we have prayed again lift up your voice and say father in the name of Jesus as I praise you this morning let all my dreams come alive go ahead and begin to pray all my dreams let them come alive my dreams will not die. They will come alive. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Thirdly, you lift up your voice and say, Father, as I praise and worship you, in this service, let my glorious days come forth speedily. Go ahead and pray that prayer. My glorious days, let them come forth speedily. Let them come forth speedily. My glorious days, my glorious months, my glorious years, let them come forth speedily. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And now prophesy to your neighbor and say to him, Neighbor, I prophesy concerning you. As you praise God this morning, everything that is not working in your life will begin to work now. Your dreams will not die. Your glorious days will come speedily. Go ahead and pray for him. everlasting father in Jesus mighty name we have prayed your prayers will only work on the platform of praise so if you sit down there or stand like standard bank you have missed it so I'd like you to forget everyone around you 20 minutes of uninterrupted praise yes. maybe I should help you Choose a praise partner. Just find someone. Go ahead and do that in 30 seconds. Choose a praise partner. 